so this is not a scheduled live. I was, I was just sitting here, right? We got dinner done and the kids are doing their thing. And so I decided, oh yeah, I get some time in my, my craft room, my playroom. And I'm sitting here and I look over to the right and I have this basket full of finished layouts. And then I look down and I'm like, I really should clean up. And then I'm like, man, I really want to create. No, I should put my albums, my, my finished pages away. No, I should clean. No, I really want to create something. <laughs> oh, have you guys been there? Yeah, that is the dilemma, right? Like, should I clean? Should I create? Should I put away stuff? Anyways, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go live and whoever catches me, um, great. I think that I decided I'm going to put my album, my pages away, because this is what it's looking like. So it's time, I need to put them away. And so I thought, well, if I put them away, then we can just kind of go through some old layouts, if you guys want to join me. Um, and then I'm going to clean, and then maybe I will create something. So maybe I'll just do all of them, if I can move quickly. Um, <laughs> But I did have to buy page protectors. That's why I was holding off on this project and that's why it was kind of piling up um, over on the side. And so luckily my, my order of page protectors, they came in. So I'm gonna put these 100 page protectors to use finally and do something with it, yes. Okay, so any of you guys ever had that struggle? <laughs> yeah, the struggle is seriously clean up, put stuff away, or create. I don't know if I'll get to creating, but I am gonna go through my pages. So do you guys wanna go through my pages with me? Okay, so I'm going to flip this screen and we're gonna, first, I'm going to um, separate them into years. I don't know how you guys do it, but basically I take my page and I make piles and then I put them into my scrapbook album once I have a pile for ages or for years. I don't scrapbook in chronicle order, but I like my albums to be in chronicle order. So I have albums by years, but I just scrapbook whatever I feel. So that's why I have to separate my pile um, by years first, because I have some in here from 2010, some in here from 2020. Um, so just a very, various of layouts from various of past years memories so okay let's go through i'm gonna flip this and we will see what we get kind of a different live but um maybe it will inspire some of you guys to go grab some of your finished layouts and do the same and <laughs> do the same Okay, so this one, I'm not sure I ever showed you guys this one. This one was just a, a quick, quick one pager that I, I can't remember. I had this one picture, unfortunately, that I just took randomly from Easter of 2019. So let me see, I'm gonna make this my 2019 file. I don't know if I can do this live. There might not be enough space on this table. Um, here's another one pager. And I'm not gonna worry about the one pagers or two pagers until I get to my album but this one is actually from, I didn't put a year on it. I should put a year on it. I really don't like when I don't do that. Um, this one was from last year, so 2019. I'm gonna stick 2019 on there as well. So that's from last year. This one, no year on it again. Guys, do you guys ever do that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, she wrote that in this home, so that would have been 2019 as well. So I guess 2019, I just failed to put them on there. And I just like to have the year, if they don't have it as a main component. So a lot of 2019s. Oh, I did this one. I'm not sure I ever showed you guys this one. This one is a fun class that I actually did uh, with Brandy Bacham, who is a creative partner. So she did this really fun class. So that was really fun. And then we did this other layout too. And both of these are from 2019. So that was really fun as well. 
So those were done. I don't even know. Somebody count how many pages because this is just how much I've gotten done so far. I guess in this year. I'm trying to remember the last time I put layouts away. I think I cleaned it up at the beginning of the new year. This one is of my father. So he came out and visited in August. So 2019 of August. So that's 2019. Um, <clears throat> this one we actually did live together and that was a really emotional page. So it really stands out vividly in my mind. Um, but this is from my mother's funeral, which was last year as well. So that is 2019. Maybe I'm just gonna have a full pile of 2019s. I'm not sure. Um, this one was fun too. Um, I can't remember. I think it was, I designed it this way. Hmm, it could go either way, really. I can't remember how I designed it. Uh, left, right, right, left, who knows? So this is one with the girls, of course, kind of just enjoying the last couple years that I have with them. That was right before they graduated, um, 2019. <laughs> I do have other ones in here other than 2019. But this one is from my son's baptism, which was in August of last year. All of this feels so so new, but so old. Like, I'm like, wait, was that only last year? Yes, that was only last year. Anyone else feel that way? Crazy, right? Right. Um, oh, Sherry said, I do mine in order, but I find myself having paper that I say, oh, that will be so go good with those pictures when I get to them. Then I lose my inspiration. <laughs> So 2019, I actually had, oh yeah, so I have this little page protector that's going to go through them, or between that, because I designed that little thing to go in with that. So I'll put that in my 2019 pile. Here is another fun layout. That was really fun too. I think we did this one live too. Look how much you guys are helping me get accomplished with our live hangouts. Uh, a lot of these we did live. Um, yeah, so, and or the Kiwi Clubs, so I'm getting, I mean, I have a pile to put away, so that's always a good feeling. 2019, this was spring break last year. It looks more like fallish, but it was spring break. <laughs> still, still the leaves were, dead leaves were all over. This was fun as well. Another layout we did live, I remember. We designed this one this way. I do remember that. Um, so... This one is from 2012, so this one's old because I had these pictures that I finally took out of a, a frame. So I took them out of a frame and finally scrapbooked them. So I'm gonna have to go back and put them, organize them inside of my 2012 album. Same with these ones. This is another layout we did live. Oh, but it looks like my page got caught somehow right there, okay. And these are from that same time period as well. So I think these actually are from our 28 or 2008. I think, hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that one before I put it away. I'll put this in my question pile. Oh, here's another page protector. So I did that with this two page. I can't remember if I did this live or if I went back and did it after we did it. I can't remember now. Maybe some of you guys remember. But that was fun to kind of break up these five by seven pictures. And then even this eight and a half by 11 picture, I broke that up and basically decided where I could slice it without cutting one's head, everyone's heads off and then um, putting in a page protector. That was a lot of fun. So those all of course go together. <laughs> okay, I I'm serious. These are all from lives. I just deck you know create with you guys live and then I put them in a pile and now I'm finally getting to putting them in my album this one was really fun I remember this one this was echo park paper um I had to pull in some the darker paper um for the backgrounds and the moment I did that the page seemed to come together really quickly so that was really fun so this is just this year 2020 we went Somewhere. So I'm going to put my 2020 pile down at the bottom. 
Another random picture from 2008 or 2009. And this one I used the um, design kit, Hello Kit. I think I shared that with you guys. But yeah, I just used the whole design um, snap frame kit and I made a one pager instead. So that was really fun. So that one's 2009. I think that's gonna go over here in my pile there. Another one we created live as well. So that was really fun. Um, this was a really fun layout. Um, we should make a sketch challenge of this. I think we did one based off this and it was really fun. I would do this layout version again and have a variety of different options because there's so many variety ways you could do that. And this was close to my heart paper, I wanna say. Yeah, close to my heart paper. So that one is 2019, so I'll put that one over there. Another fun layout. That was really fun. It's been a while since I used this compass. Have any of you guys pulled that out recently from one of the past QB Club kits? I do have a few more travel page pictures. Well, a few more. A few more in general. A lot more than I need to actually create and play to create with them, but that was fun. That was um, a really fun trip. 2019, wow, 2019 was a busy year. 2020, you know, we'll see how it all goes, but I guess 20, 2020 is when I'll get caught up on all my scrapbooking. <laughs> Um, this was fun. This was just a one pager. I just threw it together. I think again that we did this live. I can't remember. Maybe I didn't do this one live. Maybe I did this one while watching somebody else be live. That's why it's a memory in mine. <laughs> um, but this is from 2015. If I haven't showed you guys this, look how cute. You know, I, that was fun to journal along those lines like that. And then, um, yeah, Abby and Eli, they were best of buds when he was smaller. So that was, what, five years ago? So fun. Okay, so that goes in that pile. Yep, you're gonna need space. So yes, I'm just separating. I don't know how long I'll keep you guys live. Hopefully you guys, I don't know if you guys are enjoying it. I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna separate them. Maybe I should just go live and show them. Okay guys, this is another one we did live. And I remember it because, um, of the title. It was a really creative title that you guys gave me in the comments and it was perfect. What what happens at the lake stays at the lake and in the scrapbooks. So technically it didn't really stay at the lake. <laughs> but that was fun. That was using my guy paper. If you guys haven't used that yet, oh I just happened to have it. Here. My guy. Yeah, if you have this one and you haven't used it yet, it's so much fun. I created out of this double layout kit this layout. And then I did, it goes this way. I know that because of the, where the borders match up. And then I did that layout too from that kit. Super fun paper, loved it. So this is from 2016. So I need a new pile, I'll put that on the chair. And this one is from 2018. Well, that's 2016, this one's 2018. Okay. Here's another layout that we did live. <laughs> I remember it because of the gold egg, if anybody else remembers it. And that was 2020. This one, I actually scrapbooked the layout before I had the pictures, that's right. And then I went and just took a couple pictures for Easter to put on here. I don't do that often, but I did for this layout. So that was 2020. Oh my goodness, are you guys done? I, I still, I didn't even, I've only gone through a fourth of my pile. All right, another fun one that we did live. <laughs> um, I really think that this pile, I only scrapbook when I go live with you guys apparently. So that's a good thing that I put it on the calendar and make time for that because that's the time that I get some of my own personal scrapbook done apparently. Um, this was a fun layout. That was super fun. Yeah. 
So this one is from 2017. Where did I put that pile? I will put it, I'll put that one with 2016. I am running out of space. I might have to go to the floor here in a moment. 2015. Did I have a pile for that? I don't think I did yet for 2015. Just a fun, um, again, random pictures that I had left over and I decided to create with that. Um, I absolutely love this a la carte, vintage a la carte. So much fun. Oh wait, we did do this live because this is where we folded in the little, the, um, sparkle remember for the center of the flower here <laughs> so just kidding we did do that one live as well i have this drawing that's in my go my file away folder um so this must have been towards the end of the school and i still haven't put it away and it's just drawing so usually what i do with these I put them in my pile so that when I actually go to put stuff away in my albums, I put any of these kind of things in the back of the albums if I decide to keep them. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I take pictures of them and either scrapbook them or put them in little pocket pages. But clearly I held on to this one probably because it was really important to them. You never know what's important to them. <laughs> And which ones are more important and I remember this one was specifically they were she was really excited about it so that's why it's in here so I'll need to file it away with my my 2019 ones okay oh my goodness just so many I gotta really put these away here's another fun layout hmm do you guys like it like that or see that's the interesting thing you could do that with any layouts too that you see in the idea books you could just flop them and you could decide which way maybe that would change it up i mean <laughs> you could even do something where you completely rotate something like that now that i'm thinking about it and you would have a whole different layout um yes what year was this one 2019 2019 is the year it's the one I haven't put done a lot of them on yet. I have pictures beyond this one, but like I said, I always kind of scrapbook what I feel. And so sometimes it is more recent pictures and stuff that I do more often. I still have a mixture of the other years um, in here, of course, but sometimes you're just more attracted to the more recent memories. And that's, I think that's okay. I think it's good to, to scrapbook what you feel and um, what you're interested in at the time. That's why, again, I don't scrapbook in chronicle order, but I do like my albums to be in chronicle order. So it just takes a little bit more effort and time when I want to go finally file them away into my albums. 2019, that was fun. That was a day at the zoo. All right, guys, I probably won't keep you guys much longer just because I kind of popped this up on you guys randomly that was really fun layout too we did that one live as well all of these videos all of these lives by the way are either on our youtube channel most likely or here in the group because that's where we've done them uh, for the last year and this was really fun i remember this one as well so this is 2018 let me put that in that pile over here and oh this one this one's an older one because look how young they are this was back in oh it must have been 20 2010 i don't know if i put a year on it mm, nope but that's fun if you guys have a recipe i know we talked about it when we did this kiwi club kit but it is fun to also preserve and document maybe some family recipes that you might have. Super, I love that. There's another one that I want to document. I just haven't yet. Um, we always have buttermilk pancakes and so I wanna, it's one of our favorites. 
I need to share that in over in the community group. I'll make sure to post that at some point. That was really fun. I loved how these layered. Look how pretty that is. I loved how that just layered together. I remember being really excited and just having that instant gratification and fulfillment as I started to ink those and layer them together. You know what I mean? That one, that feeling where you're just like, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so 2010, uh, right there. I was like, I'm pretty sure I put that on the chair. More layouts. Super fun. Okay, so between the live videos I've come to decide and also the Kiwi Clubs, that is what I'm getting most of my, my accomplishments apparently from. I think occasionally some of these are not, um, or that you possibly have not seen yet. I'm not sure there is, to tell you the truth. All of these, <laughs> and I'm, now I'm looking at it, all of them are from the, either the live or the Kiwi Clubs. Okay, so this was back in Idaho. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at that date. I'll scan the video. I bet you the video has the date on it. So I'll have to scan that one. I'll put it in my I'm not sure pile. I think it was, oh, it's 2007, 2017, because I had this other page at the same time. And I remember, because Madeline came to visit and spent Thanksgiving with us. So I need to write that on here. 2017. See, it's super helpful to put those dates. I even miss them though. Clearly I'm missing them in the mix. And then I just have to go back and do it again. Oh, this one was fun. We just did that one recently. This one, this one gave me a run for my money. <laughs> I had to like change the papers in the middle of the live and I was just like, oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it always turns out one way or the other. And that is the beauty of creativity that you use your creative problem solving, creative outlook, and sometimes a mistake becomes a, a creative solution and sometimes it turns into a different thing, but so much to be learned through the creative process um, in general. So. That was fun. All right. This was super fun too. We did this one live. So I don't know which one, I, I guess I'm gonna have to maybe do some pictures and then be like, which ones was your favorite live? <laughs> We'll take a poll. Was it this one, that one? Does anyone have a favorite live that was like, oh, that was really fun? <laughs> um, I remember the live that we did where we did Disney music. That was fun. That was fun for me as well. That was a lot of fun. Oh, this one goes, where'd I put that? That goes, I got out of order. Oh yeah. So I did a, another pocket page, but this is the same trip. So it will be my spring break. So I will start with this page, go to my pocket page, and then end on that page. So those go together. On that, this was another fun live. That was super fun as well. Was it those two pages? Nope, I have it mixed up. Although that's kind of cute, the mixture of two pages, but that's not how I designed it. I designed it, just kidding. This is how the page went, hold on, hold on. It was the two yellow backgrounds, but looking at that, that would have been cute now that I think about it. So that was a layout that we designed. And then I don't think I just showed you guys this one. This is one I just, created after the live. It was pretty late. I remember thinking I probably shouldn't go live and bug them, but that was really fun. I just finished off those um, Yellowstone trips and then I finished by putting a uh, basic pocket page together on that too. So I just finished that trip off with these last pictures that I had and those couple pages. This is from 
This is right before we left. So 2018. Yeah, we decided before we moved across the country that we were going to go to Yellowstone. Where's my, there's my 2018. Okay. All right. You guys want me to keep going? You guys done? Here's another one. Where did I put that other layout? See, they get kind of mixed up in my bucket. I'm not even sure how that happens. I just kind of throw them in. That is the same time frame as this other layout. So I'm gonna to wanna to keep all of those pictures and layouts together. It's really fun for whatever it's worth to, to scrapbook those eight and a half by 11 pictures. They are so much fun, I enjoyed that. This one I just took down and I cut it down to an eight by eight. So you can adjust them just a little bit as well. That was a fun project to finally get those done. And of course, scrapbook them. Oh, oh, look how little. This is from 2010. Oh my goodness, they're so little. That was fun. Uh, okay, for anyone that doesn't know, I have to show you, well, this is even old pictures of them, but little ones to, to that now. From that to that, how does that happen? From that, <laughs> To that I don't oh it's just insane it happens to all of us but still sometimes it's hard to really wrap my head around oh just kidding that page I just showed you I had a two page so I did that so I took this big one that was 11 by 14 turn that down or maybe that was a little bigger because that's 12 12 by 14 maybe yeah again I took those out of the frames this last year and put new ones in so I decided to just scrapbook the and scrapbook them and retire them into my scrapbook instead of on my my family wall <laughs> I got more I know Denise it just keeps coming I think I oh 2010 I have to, where did I put that pile I'm gonna have to now go back through them and organize them again Oh, I guess this room is just getting messier now. I'm putting piles on the floor. Okay, my goodness. This one. I can't remember. Did we do this one live? Or maybe this was a Kiwi Club sample. I feel like we did this one live as well, possibly. This was really fun, taking the scallops. If you have the scallops, those are all three sizes layered together. So this is 1A, 1B, this is 2A, 2B, and 3A, 3B all layered together. And then of course, this piece up here, I just um, used from the scraps, from the flip side, so that was really fun. So full on scallop fun border page, that was really fun. Okay. This one's from 2017, using the um, creatures. Oh, I love that set. If you guys don't have it yet, that's so much fun. Ooh, now I have an itch to use it. Okay, I gotta hurry up, put my albums away, clean my room so I can play, and maybe I'll think of something I can use those again. It's been a while. I love this page. So much fun. Okay. 2017? Where did my 2017 go? Oh, there it is. Okay. This little guy, that was fun. I have been holding on to these pictures and no, I did not plan it with the paper. It just happened to work out. I actually forgot I had these pictures and they were of Eli, you know, um, gosh, he was four years old. So back in 2016, yeah, I did put the date on that one, 2016. and. I came home and we were doing the expos at the time, the scrapbook expo. And so we um, got a new credit card slider at the time. And so I brought this one home because it was old and it was damaged. And so I put it in the suitcase. We were gonna throw it away and I said, no, I'll take it home. The kids will use it. They'll love to play with it. And so I got home from the expo and I said, oh, I got you something. And he was so excited. It didn't have to be new. He didn't care. He was so excited. And so I gave it to him and he said that he was going to start his own little business and I said oh yeah and he said yeah and then he started looking through the recipe book and he wanted to make 
little lemon cookies. So we made little lemon cookies. I did not take pictures of them. And um, he said he was gonna, I said, well, you gotta have a name for your, your bakery. And he said he was gonna call it Lemon Smiles. And then we later, he got, see, little thumbs up, little lemon smiles, it was cute. Anyways, see, memories, guys. This is why we scrapbook. Because these pictures, I forgot I had them, put them into a scrapbook, and it made me document the story behind it. And of course, as an entrepreneur myself, I was just eating it up. I was like, oh, little entrepreneur, so cute, so cute. And then of course, just to see his creativity work, he was gonna call it Lemon Smiles, so. Um, this one's a blast from the past too. That is, <laughs> that's Riley, super young there. So again, I'm trying to find like a more recent picture of her. That's her there. So by the way, she just bleached her hair yesterday. So she's completely bleached hair, blonde hair. I'll have to show a picture. So I don't know, this quarantine, she's just, I guess they're all just bored now at this point. He was excited. Okay. See, this is the problem when you go to put your layouts away. You get distracted, and then I just want to sit here and look at them. Guys, I have, okay, I'm almost there. You guys want me to keep going? I have that many left. I don't have to show you guys all of them, I guess. But I am getting them organized, I guess, at the same time. And it's fun to tell people about my pages. <laughs> so you guys should all go live when you are putting your pages away so that we could see all your many accomplishments plus your stories. Um, this is just another one pager. I've had this picture forever. Um, and I, sometimes when you have those pictures forever, it's so nice to finally just, I remember I just was like, I just really want to quickly do a page. And I had these scraps of paper, literally scraps of paper from a previous project. So I did something really simple, but yeah, 2013. I don't think I have a pile for that yet. I'm going to put that one up there and then not sure I have many from that year. Another one. What is that, 2016? Hmm. Where'd my pile go for that? It's been a while since I've used this. I saw someone just use it and post it here in the group and I thought, oh, I should pull that back out. I loved that big flower. That was so cute. It has been a while since I've used it though. That and the critters, I guess I'm gonna, or creatures, I'm gonna have to pull those back out. This one, I purposely, intentionally, um, my uncle posted this picture of my grandma and grandpa, so I printed it up and I decided right away I was going to scrapbook it. So I did that quick page with it, of course, with the Kiwi Club kit. And um, he posted some videos and so I did some QR codes where they're just talking about some of his experience, experiences, their marriage, and then of course, just like um, World War II, which my father or grandfather was in um, and served. And so it was just, I was like, I'm going to document those right away so that I don't forget to do it. Um, besides that, I remember this was really fun too, this clean strip under a border with another strip. That was a lot of fun, if you wanna give it a try. I remember just loving that clean fill, that simple clean fill. Okay, the hexagons were so fun. I feel like I could use the hexagons on everything. I really could. So that was the girl's 16th birthday. So we took them to Olive Garden, which they love and I love. So it's kind of a win-win. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's take you to Olive Garden mainly let's take me to Olive Garden <laughs> okay this one was really fun actually I did this one I'm not sure I showed you guys this one I think it goes this way it does so I had these pictures of Eli from way back in the day gosh what year is this he was probably two not even two years old so 
seven years ago. Yeah, so 2013, somewhere around there. I'll have to look it up. Anyways, I just remember how fun it was, how bright it was. So this was actually the Paisley place, um, the Paisley from Celebrate, and then I took the small one. Oh, I would have to find the templates and it might be a minute to find them, but I layered the small one on top and then traced the little piece out so that I could get these little big splats and um, yeah. And then I just add the tiny borders here for just a little bit of pattern and texture, but not tons. But it's just so fun and bright, and I just think it was just a fun layout, which is probably why it stands out to me. 2013, which is, oh yeah, I put the other one up there. Okay, this one, same thing. I'm not sure I showed you guys, maybe I did post this one. That was fun. I had these pictures. The kids are really good about taking, you know, random pictures of the kitty cat. And yes, I want to document our cat as well. So this is Piper, just woke you, you know, Piper. And the life of a cat is kind of what every time I see her, I just think, oh, your, your life is so hard. Cats have it pretty great, if I may say. Say so, they have it pretty great. Um, yeah. She is a, a, a funny one. This was fun. I just snipped in this edges just a little, just for texture here and added some circles on the layer of the autumn tree with the nature and then another circle from rings. That was a fun layering combination there on that too. Okay, what year is this? This was 2016. 2016. And Okay, here's another fun one. Dang, did I do it this way? I'm starting to realize I might need to put left right on my pages because clearly when I come back months later, I'm not sure how it is. I don't think it makes that, it's not like end of the world, but clearly I'm having a hard time deciding because it looks good either way. <laughs> I'm like, it really does, but I think it was this way. I think it was that way. Oh, uh, yes. I'm glad that my kids take random pictures so that I can scrapbook them. This was fun. This, they decided all to cut bangs. So this was just recently. And then to take pictures. But now Riley's growing out her bangs and now she bleached her hair. So she's getting, I guess, that creative expression of trying to figure it out. But now she's like, I, they cut their bangs and I said, you're not going to like it. And then now she's like pulling them to the side because she wants to grow them out. <laughs> but Abby loves her bangs and she looks great with them. This is a page of me and Mindy. That was fun. Kind of push, um, collage them all together, use the mini photos. And that was just the maze kit, the May Kiwi Club kit. That was a fun layout. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. I have this other one pager. I think I already showed you guys that one, which means, oh, it's 2020. I haven't done a lot of 2020s, of course. And I showed you guys this one. That's it. That's all my layouts, guys. Now I need to officially grab the albums, um, put them away. This goes in my 2019 pile over there. And those are all my recent layouts. Again, most of them either from Kiwi Clubs or the live crops or watching your guys's challenge and inspiration. So personally, I know for me, um, I can attest that there have been a lot of use, use to as well. Oh, I didn't show you guys this one. It was in the pile on top. So that one also was really fun. So yes. Says, this guy just showed up one day and touched our heart. So though he's no longer by our side, he's left an everlasting print. And then I called it paw prints on our hearts. Did you guys know that if you take the pets one and you turn the hearts upside down and then the oval. So this is all from the pets accessory. It makes a cute paw. 
So check out the pets accessory if you haven't yet. These are all from that, that accessory set, super fun. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put these albums away, I'm gonna clean up this room, and we'll see what time it is. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Thanks for uh, going down memory lane with me and reminiscing. It is a really fun thing. So hopefully if you have a pile of pages waiting to be sorted and filed away into your scrapbooks to be safely placed, um, hopefully this has encouraged you to go grab them. Go down memory lane a little bit. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining me. All right, have a good night. Bye.